Hello everyone, this is the Russian Prince with another Fall of the Samurai Tournament Match cast. This is Chaos Riders number two tournament. Yes, that's right. Chaos Riders number two. Uh, round one. I believe this is the round of 32, I think. Anyway, this round I am playing against the uh, IDE's Hero of Belgium. Uh, good Shogun 2 player. I haven't seen him play Fall of the Samurai though, so we'll see how that actually pans out. But, anyway, here we are. On the map, we have uh, Sword Dojo, Workshop, and Shrine. In terms of uh, compositions, well, uh, let's see what I have here. I have my good old uh, Command Gun Gen. Two Yariki, Vanilla on the right. Uh, then I have two Yari Keys on the left with a Saber Cap and a Revolver Cap as well. Then a Red Bear Infantry over here with two more Red Bear that are going straight for the Shrine. This Marine here as well. One, two, three. Three Black Tortoise Force. And two more Red Bears on the right. That's basically my composition. Now for Hero of Belgium, he has a very interesting one actually. He has, uh, I believe it is more Bushido General. But no, actually he does have some points in Gun, so... Hmm. It's gonna be a mix for him. Anyway, he does have four Yari keys here. All vanilla as well. The revolver cap, he does have looks like two red bears and a black tortoise on the left with two matchlock kachi and yeah, actually two black tortoise here. Not just one. Here we have again looks like similar situation. Oh no, actually, it's one matchlock kachi with a white tiger, as I suppose the mutuals. Then we see uh, a white bear, a black tortoise, and a red bear. So it's there's a bit of a difference. And this black tortoise, for, of course. But anyway, now that uh, that's out of the way, it is time to actually get into the game itself. Am I actually recording? Yes, I'm recording. Who? I was uh, hoping I was. Anyway, fast forward things a little bit until the engagement starts. So yeah, I'm, I'm giving up the sword dojo. I cannot contest that, which is fine like the thing is he doesn't have any 150 so at this point i'm feeling quite confident that if i push my 150 advantage i'll be able to do something i noticed that he has units here but here this is where, where he's gonna have a local advantage because yes i have two red bears here but he has first of all he has like this meat shield and he has two line units as well yes the black Taurus is not as good but with match lock got you here and possibly with another unit in, he's going to do well. However, his timing is a bit off because he gets both his matchlock Kachi and Saber Cap shot. And I do get my Yari Keys straight into his Saber Cap. So this engagement is going to go definitely well for me. Matchlock Kachi and Saber Cap down for one Yari Key. I would take that trade. I don't know if I'm going to pull out here. Yes, I do actually pull out. And I, I'm down to 40 men here. Very good engagement. Didn't lose much. Meanwhile, these guys are taking massive damage. I don't actually shatter the RAK and the match Takachi. That would have been lovely, but I couldn't. Now on this side, I'm I'm getting flanked, but I get my Yari keys here first. He does counter charge at the last possible second, but it seems he doesn't get the best counter charge. And yeah, he does. He's actually beating my unit here, interestingly enough. But here I'm gonna go straight for his revolver cap. I've got my guys here in position though. Got my general here, but more Yari keys are coming in. This is problematic for me. However, I sent my Yari key in here doesn't it's gonna engage the revolver cap and it's good that i have it spread out like this because it might actually be able to win potentially here at least it's doing massive damage to the revolver cap my only key here has one and i am using the this revolver cap here quite well to defend the line units in case it's necessary this engagement here is gonna go well my journal is providing support i got the lines providing support here as well i got my Yari key in here doing significant Disruption to his white tigers and black tortoise. So I, I've won on this side sending in saber cap straight into the rear of that white tiger uh, White bear infantry rather I've won on this flank very very nicely as well Now here. I'm not gonna win this engagement and yeah, like my positioning is quite weird because this unit actually cannot fire here So that is weird and again like here he can actually start shooting me in the flank So like I really should be repositioning here even though I'm winning handily here I need to not take it this easy because it certainly isn't one yet. He has some Yari keys left, but oh, they actually shattered, I guess, because they were under fire. Potentially, and yeah, my Yari keys running around here. I'm trying to use the, my own 
a revolver cap and general here to kill this Yariki while I'm sending the Yariki around into this Black Tortoise. And yeah, he actually got his match of Kachis here into my Red Bear, which is okay. It definitely is very annoying, but if I like manage to route this match of Kachi, the Red Bear should be okay. Especially if I get, I'm getting my general around here to provide morale uh, boost aura for my Red Bears. Now here comes the revolver cap straight up front into the this black tortoise force is gonna do significant damage to it. it. Does actually pop rally though, which is good on his part. But now the black tortoise routes. He's got his general still here, 28 men, but the revolver cap is gonna chase it off and probably gonna kill it or not. I ran out of ammo, I think. <laughs> So I'm just gonna have to charge in. Right now the Black Tortoise here against my Black Tortoise looks like his is gonna win. Uh, Sword Dojo still captured by him, the Sword Dojo that is. But yeah, overall I am winning these engagements. He does, doesn't have much left. I'm gonna go with the rear charge with Revolver Cap. But anyway, what won me the game was like the engagement here on my left flank actually. That was the main one. And I took some pretty good cab engagements here as well. But that was also very good uh, for me. But yeah, now my infantry, line infantry and such, doing pretty good. I've got more cab that I'm sending around here to flank him. The saber cab here, 208 kills. Pretty feels good, man. Got my revolver here stuck in these units with 162 kills. And this match, Takachi has Victory gone. Is assured, sir. Yeah, this is a very good first game for me. I was uh, very confident after this. Uh, I was gonna say loss, but <laughs> after this win. Gave me quite a bit of uh, confidence boost. So yeah, th this went really, really well for me. It says close victory, but honestly, it was pretty decisive, I would say. But regardless of that, let's let's actually take a look at the statistics. Well, we're always gonna take a look at the statistics, right? So. Music is beautiful in Shogun 2. Love it. Alright, so there we go. Stats wise, he deployed more, like 300 more guys than me almost. But in terms of losses, for every man I I lost, he lost three basically. So that's pretty good for me. Look at that Saber Cab though. 14 lost, 262 kills, and then the Yari Keys, Revolver Cab. Yeah, Cavalry here, as I said, carried the game. For me well these guys didn't do as well they certainly cancelled out his uh, cavalry which was good enough for me because uh, uh, without cavalry for him like I have the range advantage so he's gonna have a really rough time uh, my Marines didn't do much though they didn't have to I guess but yeah that is game number one Let's see how game two goes so here we are with game two again on Kawabe River love this map what can I say it is actually one of my favorite maps uh, in Shogun 2 and it's also a newer map like the newer maps I think are very very good in Shogun 2 I love them but anyway uh, let's get into the game well, as soon as it loads it should be done very very soon and there we go put it on slow-mo Let's take a look at things. So I have my good old command gun general, and what else do I have? Well, I got two Yari key on the left. Uh, looks like two Yari key on the right. Two red bears here. Interestingly enough, one of them has a different color. Traitor. I do have the infantry that I'm in here with, uh, looks like a white bear and a red bear as well, and... All the way over here, and a Royal Marine with two Red Bears. And yeah, again, Cab Force, just 40 Yari Key this time around, it seems, with the Revolver Cap hidden here in the forest. And two 150s, that's like basically the... The, the, how should I put it, the punching power in my composition. Now, for, uh, for Hero of Belgium, he has, again, the same mix here as before, Bushido Gun Gen. I suppose you could say. Most likely. Actually, no. Just command gun, I think. Yeah. Anyway, he does have uh, three R key on the right with one saber cab, actually. Is this a saber cab? 
Yeah, just like this unit is weird because it's the Yarkies entangled with the Saber Cav. So yeah, then we see this Revolver Cav here. Oh, surprise, surprise, there's a Revolver Cav. Now, Lion Infantry-wise, the Black Taurus with the Red Bear over there. Uh, Black Taurus with a White Bear here. And a Vermilion with a Black Tortoise here. And then this side, we've got a bunch of other bears. <laughs> Two white bears, one red bear, and yeah, this is the two saber cav here, which... I mean, if I'm not careful, he can definitely push through here. Because he has the, the saber cav with the revolver cav. Like, if he gets proper charges off into my infantry, I'm dead. By the way, this red bear is rank 2, so it has extra reload. Uh, it's important to note. So right now, I'm, I've noticed, okay, I do. he has the cav advantage here. So I cannot really put my lines over there, and yeah, this is a terrible position for my marines because they don't really have proper line of sight here. This is not ideal because of this uh, over here sort of ridge. Anyway, it's uh, time to put it on play and uh, see how things actually pan out. Yeah, I got my marines here again, red bears and. More red bears around. I'm gonna pull back my white bears as well. And here comes his charge. My units here are not proper in proper positions, like you see, sort of again one is or of the other. But here, if I get a good volley off, like that would certainly win me that engagement. But here he did a good job with the cap because he forced me to stop my units. And oh, this is really, really bad. This unit is turned around. That unit was turned around. So yeah, this is bad because now like I actually cannot prevent him from capping it. Actually I can with this marine here. If I'm not if I'm careful, I can actually prevent him. But I'm pulling back the marine, so yeah. It's not good. Because yeah, but basically what he did with the cap, now he's gonna deny me the shrine. Over on this side, I almost shot his Yari keys. Oh, that was so close. He nearly got in range. That would have been really bad for him. But yeah, right now I'm not feeling confident because he has the position on me, look, he has, he's gonna get sort of a surround on me and now I have to turn around my lines here and he's starting a cab engagement. So this is really horrible for me and I don't even have the revolver cab here. And he's got like all this cab pushing in. This is beautiful by him, oh but he disengages, he disengages before he does any damage. I suppose it's because he doesn't have any lines there? Yeah, he actually only lost four guys, and he killed like 25, so that's actually quite a good engagement for him. And here he is not gonna let me engage him with my marines, which is again another good move. So at this point, I'm kind of getting a little bit frustrated. Because he is harassing me here with the cav, and his lines are here, and I actually, yeah, I can see that the line of sight here is what killed me, because this marine couldn't fire before. And now this marine is gonna lose this engagement, especially with supporting saber cap. So this is a terrible engagement for me. I have to pull it back. I have to go in with the Yariki. That's really bad by him though, the Yariki. And here I mismanage my Yariki. He charges into my Yariki. I send in my cap here through there. I send in my cap through here as well. Uh, but I don't get a proper charge off onto the saber cap though, so that's really bad. But my marines here should do a huge amount of work. Here I got my general into his red burst because I'm like, hell, I'm losing this, so I better do something, but it's a little bit too early for me to do that. I shouldn't have done that. I have this entry to the marine here, but it's not going to be able to do much when it's facing the wrong damn way. I don't know what I'm doing there. I got my revolver cap up here. Yes, it's finished that unit off, but now it's getting targeted by his revolver cap. Now, all of a sudden, this is like so bad Sir, right now. Royal Marines doing injured, really bad. Infantry the Marine doing really bad. And here I'm just getting chased down by Cav over and over again. Decisive defeat. And that was a swift response by him. Granted, I made some serious mistakes, like not facing with my Marines properly and then like not noticing that there was a line of sight blocker where I had the, the Marine on my left. That cost me that marine. Well, losing that marine like that. Well, I didn't really lose it, but it didn't trade cost effectively. See? And I didn't use my revolver cap properly. Or other cap. I missed some cap charges. So, yeah, there was a lot going on there. 
So, yeah. Statistics wise, well, there's not going to be many statistics because I conceded early. Well, it wasn't early, it was pretty much decided at that point. But yeah, he took a more decisive victory than uh, I did, I would say. Anyway, that's game two. Now it's tied up uh, one to one in this best of five. So we'll see how game three goes. Here is game three of the match now on Saga River. Another map that I like. Mostly in Shogun 2, though, in Fots is. Uh, it's quite difficult. <laughs> Alright, so as we're loading in, uh, we'll see how things go. I'm gonna put it in slow motion for sure, because I need to go over the builds. So I got like, here comes my command gun gen right over there, and I also have, well, let's take a look. I got my, uh, well, one. Two, three, four Yari keys here. They're all vanilla. And with a saber cap and the revolver cap, all in this little forest here, with a bunch of red bears. Three red bears, a black door is rank one, just for the reload. Uh, US Marine here, and looks like two black tortoises along with the US Marine. And my general here is on this side doing, I don't know what he's doing. Now for uh, Hero of Belgium, what he's got is, of course, same gen as before. And this is very interesting. Two Spear Levy on the left, two Match Lakachi here, two more Match Lakachi here, and three Yariki here. The damned enemy has damned ambushed you, sir! Saber Cav, like three of them, Shogunate Guard Cavalry, Revolver Cavalry, two more Spear Levy there. <laughs> So this is a huge cap rush on this side. I'm like, oh boy, this is going to be bad for me. I need to sp spread my units out. And Kisho ninjas that just spawn, which are very annoying. They're already getting quite a few kills on my US Marines here. This is beautiful by him. Setting in the Kisho ninjas like that to engage my units. So here I decided to charge in with the Yari keys, but yeah. Here's where the cap engagement is going to start. But I didn't charge him properly, because I sent in like three units against two. I should have had another unit to block all of these guys. But now I, I didn't play that out properly. However, the, the, the fire from these guys is going to be really good as well. And the Shogunate Guard the Cavalry is getting massacred the by the Revolver field, Cavalry. So already the Revolver Cavalry is basically paying for itself by massacring the Shogunate Guard Cavalry. Gonna send in Saber Cab in here to get rid of the Kisho Ninjas as fast as I can. Marines are still alive, which is very, very good for me. And I've got decent line of fire uh, going on right now. So at this point, this went... It actually went really well. I thought it would go worse because of the way that started with the Kisho Ninjas. But yeah, look, now the lines of fire on that Saber Cab doing so well. And he basically has just like you, mostly Matchlock, Kachi, Spear Levy left. And yes, Revolver Cavalry. I overextended with this Yari key though, uh, that's not good, but I mean right now I'm also gonna get some shots off onto his revolver cavalry, which is gonna be huge. It's down to 32. He doesn't have much left. He's gonna lose this Kisho Ninja as well. He had two. But yeah, Saber Cavalry is gonna kill the Kisho Ninja. No worries uh, there. But yeah, at this point, uh, I'm in a pretty good spot. Because he doesn't really. He has a revolver cap and his general left. I still have my revolver cap, which is in a better situ uh, situation. It's got 53 instead of uh, 32. I also have a Yari key and a saber cap and more like actual proper lines. And my general is actually in better shape as well. His is down at 26. Meanwhile, farmhouse, he does have the farmhouse, the shrine. And the workshop, so he has all the dojos right now, which is very good for him. But, he does see that, uh, well, how should I put it? There's not much hope for him, because, yeah, like, I have, despite him having the dojos, overall I have the advantage in terms of both infantry and cavalry, so his only option here was to really concede. Unless I made, like, a serious blunder this game, I would not have uh, lost it after that initial engagement. Yeah, there, there, there goes the game three, quick and decisive, just like, uh, just like the the last one in which he uh, destroyed me, 
And uh, yeah, that's game three. Up, I'm up 2 1 in uh, this uh, best of five now as we take a look at the statistics. I totally forgot to look at that, but yeah, that was. Uh, how should I put it? <laughs> that was uh, even quicker than the other one, I suppose. You could say, I think. Yeah. Because that one, at least the, the one before. At least had a setup period, but in this one he just rushed two minutes and 41 seconds battle. It's pretty insane. Losses wise, I nearly lost as much as him, but he lost mostly cavalry, which is very painful. So yeah, kill wise, revolvers doing well as one would expect. Even if they only killed the shogunate guard cavalry, which was like what they killed like 40-ish shogunate guard cavalry or so, 40 models maybe. That's still way more than worth it, honestly, because the Shogunate Guard Cavalry is like more expensive and it can really do some damage if it gets into units, but dealt with it with Revolver Cavalry cost effectively and that's one of the things that won me the game. So uh, yeah, we'll see how next game goes. And here we are with game four. I'm on match point right now as I'm up to one in the best of five. Two to one in the best of five, that is. is it up to one or up two to one? Hmm. That is a good question. <laughs> it's a good question indeed. Uh, so can we actually load in? Please load in. There we go. We have now loaded in. Time to put it in slow motion. Again, build wise, I have my uh, Mangan Gen in the back. Three Black Tortoise because, you know, I just want to use them. They Because they have bad morale, I just want to use them for defense against Cav. Considering what happened last time, I kind of expected potentially another melee rush. Anyway, up front, one, two, three red bears, because these guys are quite good in melee, with Royal Marines as well. I have uh, a red bear as well over here in the back with another one, so that's two. Then again, the revolver cav, and I have a bunch of Yari keys here one, two, three, four Yari keys, and one saber cavalry. Now for Hero of Belgium, he has his uh, the same general as before. Looks like, interestingly enough, th two bow key. <laughs> Sorry. Two bow key, one saber cab, one yari key on the left. The two bow key, particularly interesting. On the right, we see a saber cab with a yari key. And here, what does he have? Two black tortoise. And then a bunch of red bears, three red, four red bears, and then two white bears, which is pretty solid uh, line contingent. But yeah, he's probably gonna rush me again. And he has the Tosa Rifleman. I totally forgot about that unit, but yeah, that's pretty important. Dojo-wise, we have archery, sword, and a workshop. And the reason why I deployed over here is, well, because this is the archery dojo. However, the Tosa Rifleman here can be very, very annoying for me to deal with because it's in that forest. However, luckily for me, it's not a 175 Tosa. But yeah, the Boki here will be quite annoying because I don't have the range to deal with him. So, it's gonna be quite rough. Yeah, moving up my Royal Marines here. I don't know if I saw his Tosas. Uh, like, I, I, cause, well, I did have vision on them for a while, but like, I don't know if I actually saw them with my own eyes during the, the game itself. So that could be potentially bad, but here I've got my Marines in a position where they should be able to make sure that he cannot actually get the Archery Dojo. Of course, I cannot do anything about the Sword Dojo and the Workshop because I cannot engage here. I was hoping to use the River here to deter him from uh, getting across, but with the Boki that changes things and he's actually killed quite a lot in uh, out of that uh, Black Tortoise unit. So yeah, here I'm moving in Yariki, which is a bad mistake, a bad move, because if I'm not careful, I can lose these guys, uh, but they are so fast that they can actually dodge the arrows, which is good, if I micro them properly, so yeah, love it. Now here, I am actually pushing forward the, the marines here, because I'm trying to get an engagement, but I don't know if I see these guys, I guess I do. And now this is going to be a mistake, because now he can potentially push up the Tosa here and decap. Uh, the Archie Dojo, that would be bad. Ooh, he moves up his Boki a bit too far here. So I actually end up taking quite a few of them down. 
This one down to 46 and the other one down to 58. So early on, the engagements have gone in my favor. I'm just going to fast forward things, though, because it's going way, way too slow, honestly. So here we go. I got my red bears here. Those is on the field. Black Thor just drew more red bears there as well. It's just beautiful. So I'm going to continuously pull back the, these units here because I do know that he moved up the Tosa. However, he did not try to cap because I already have vision uh, over there. But I guess he could use his range advantage to try and pepper uh, this uh, red bear. He could totally do that. But now this marine here is like, I'm trying to get some areas to push, but it's really, really difficult. And I am trying to do that because he has a bokey and that bokey could potentially be really annoying for me. So I've lost one out of each of these Yari keys as well. Now his revolver cavalry is moving up. Tosa's here uh, moving up as well. He's going to start decapping soon. But I am trying to flank him with the marines here. Uh, yeah, I have a flanking position on his Tosa's. But now this is a problem because my marine is in some trouble. He didn't get a volley off with his Tosa's getting 9 this Black Tortoise, even though it's a Black Tortoise, getting anything done is pretty good, especially when there's an Archery Dojo in the game, because he can uh, uh, he can essentially replenish his ammo. Now, here comes the engagement on this side. Red Bears of mine against his Red Bears, but this is very good for me, because I have the Archery Dojo, and I have the superior position in here on the hill. I'm trying to charge in with uh, the Araki. But considering as his Tosa here, it's not like the biggest, uh, it's not the best move, especially as this white bear hasn't fired. And now that he's going to go in, he's, his Tosa is slaughtering my Saber Cav. But here, I'm actually going to send some of the Yari Keys around while I, while I keep his Saber Cav here occupied with one of my Yari Keys. This is very good for me. Ooh, look at that red bear smashing through the Saber Cav. Here I'm going to send more of my Yari Keys around, and I routed that Saber Cav off. Now I can push into the White Bears here. No engagements yet here, but this could be bad for me. I need to start turning these units around. However, I am getting shots off with this unit, but not many. Here this is a good engagement for me. But here this is the best engagement for me. Look at those revolvers getting chased off the field. I have so much Cav. I'm going to send some of them around as well. Because I don't want all of them taking this engagement. Now, with this huge mass route that I managed to do over here, I'm sending in my general in. I'm sending in my cav here into these tosas, into this, this, this white bear here. I got my general here, which I, was, I suppose I was trying to send around into his general. Uh, but yeah, his revolver cav could come around, which would be a huge, huge problem for me. It's definitely going to come around at some point. This Yariki came around. But now I've got my marine here able to offer supporting fire while I keep... These two units busy, the marine fires on them. Saber Cav engaged with my Yariki, which is a good engagement for me. The Stosa Rifleman still survives, but in melee it's gonna die to the Yariki, so these two Yarikis, there we go, it's gone now. And now my Yariki here has done its duty, this uh, Red Bear is essentially gonna go down. My marines here, well yeah, this engage here was not best, but ooh, he's gonna charge in with Boki straight across, so he he's gonna take massive damage. I'm even going to win the, the melee engagement here because, I'm, again, I'm fighting in the forest. His charge was really, really bad. He's going to pull out of there, but in doing so, he's going to lose so many Boki. And, yeah, I've got my Yari Keys here. Going straight for his general and this Red Bear. Uh, this, this other Red Bear here, though, has still survived. Uh, but I'm potentially going to win here if, if I charge into melee. I don't know if I'm going to charge into melee. But, yeah, I'm going to charge into melee here. As you should, that's going to route that red bear. I'm going to disengage with the Ciari key and push through into these other red bears. So right now, it's looking very, very good for me because this engagement here, I took a very good one. I had the Yari keys doing what they were supposed to, stopping his saber cav. Meanwhile, flanking around with uh, some other Yari keys. And he don't have enough cav on that side. For sure. And there he goes. He concedes defeat, so I do end up taking the match. 3 to 1, advancing to the next round. Was this the longest match so far? I'm not sure. It's uh, this one or the first, maybe? One of those.
Yeah, let's let's take a look at the stats. I definitely killed a lot more. I didn't lose as much. Otherwise, Yari Keys, Royal Marines doing quite fine. As you would expect for him. Tosis got top two, which is not great considering they, well, here's the thing with the Tosis, they need time to be valuable, so I didn't give him that time because I, I started a, an offensive maneuver. However, like what they could have done in the early game is they could have prevented me from taking the Archie Dojo, which he didn't. He couldn't. And it was gonna be hard though, because I had a Marine there. And a 150 Marine against the 150 Tosa. Well, that's really bad for the Tosa. It's not like it's not like I'm gonna push into that forest, because if I did, that Tosa would actually beat my Marine, because I wouldn't be able to see the Tosa since it would be hidden in the forest. But yeah, I would have Honestly, 150 range Tosas are very difficult to use. Like, you should really bring 175 because if you bring Tosas, because at least you have some extra range to work with before your Tosas are in danger. But like this, it's gonna be tough because 150, line, 150 range line infantry usually counters 150 range Tosas. And Marines and other elite line in other elite line infantry they basically counter that even harder because a tosa will just get a 150 range tosa will ju just get slaughtered in those engagements as they have the same range anyway that is the match i take it 3-1 thank you all for watching and don't forget to comment raise subscribe follow me on social media i'll see you next time